In Creo Parametric, you can create a primary sheet metal wall with a sweep feature, but you want to make sure that you are creating developable geometry. Here I am in Creo Parametric. Let's start off by creating a brand new sheet metal part. I will click on the new icon. Let's change the subtype to sheet metal, and I'm just gonna call this my trough. I will use my standard default template. Let's click the OK button. And here I am in Creo. Let me start off by turning on my datum plane display. The first thing that you will need for a sweep is a trajectory. And I'm going to create a planar trajectory with a sketch that will help make sure that it is developable. Let me create some lines. I'll click on the right mouse button to bring up the mini toolbar and then click on the line command. And let's just sketch line here, line over here and then another line here. Let me turn off my datum plane display now to reduce the clutter and change some of the different dimensions. Let's double click on this one and change it to 500 and double click on this one to change it to 200. I'm happy with that sketch. Let's hold down the right mouse button once more in order to get to the check mark in order to complete the sketch. And with the sketch still selected, I can go to the walls drop down menu and here we have sweep. You can create either a regular sweep or a helical sweep. Let's create a regular sweep. I'm going to do it with a constant section. Let me zoom in a little bit. If you take a look on this end, you'll see that there is a pink arrow that indicates that this is the start point. If you want to start on the other side, you can just click on the pink arrow. And I'm happy with that. Let's hold down the right mouse button. That's one way that you can get into the sketch of the feature. Of course, there is also a button on the dashboard. So I'll get into the sketcher and let me just reorient a little bit. And I'm gonna create my sketch using three lines. So once again, I'll use the mouse in order to get to the toolbar that allowed me to create it. And let's make these two be equal. I'm letting it snap to the constraint. Let's throw in a symmetry constraint and I will pick the reference and then the two points over here. Now I just have two different dimensions. Let's change this one to 25 and let's change this one to 100. Okay, this is good. Once again, I will use the right mouse button to complete out of sketch mode. You can see a preview of the geometry that is being created. Let me pan it over for you. And if you go to the options tab, there is an option that's automatically turned on to add bends to the sharp edges. And if I zoom in, you can see what those different bends look like, even though I just had some straight lines in the sketch. You can go to the drop down list if you want to choose another default value of two times the thickness, or you could just punch in the value that you would want to use instead. So, for example, if I want a value of 10, we can see 10 inside of there. And I'm going to leave this on for now. Be aware that you also have a place in the dashboard where you can change your thickness. I'm just going to leave the default thickness. Let's hit the check mark in order to complete the feature. And I have created a sheet metal wall with the sweep feature. But the problem is you can't flatten this. So let's go to this flat pattern preview. When I go in here, it says, hey, the preview is not available. Yeah, I cannot flatten this. That's why the preview is not available. So let's try making some changes to that sweep feature. I'm going to edit definition, which I get to from the mini toolbar. And then let's just go to some straight edges. We're not gonna add bends automatically on the sharp edges. I'm going to make a change to the sketch. Let's add the fillets into the sketch in order to get our bends manually. So I'll click here and here, and then here and here. Let me go to my equal constraint, so I have one dimension for both of those. And everything here looks good. These dimensions might have turned weak. I think this one is a little too big to begin with. Let's double click on it and change it to a value of 80. 
I will click this dimension and then from the mini toolbar, this icon allows you to turn it into a strong dimension and you have the option to change the value when you make it strong. And lastly, let's go to this one and make this a value of 10. So I'm happy with that. Once again, I'll use the right mouse button to get to the check mark. And so that way we have the bends over here down at the bottom. Let me hit the check mark in order to complete this feature. Once again, the preview is not available. This still can't be flattened. So maybe we'll try throwing in some rips. I'll go to the rip command. I'll just put in some edge rips and let's select this edge here and I'll hold down the control key and select that one as well. And we've got some over on the other sides to throw in here too. And so now we've got the rips in there. You have a drop down list where you can choose from some of the different options. So for example, if I want to have some space in there, hey, we could even open that up uh, to some different values. But let me just go to the open option and hit the check mark. And here it tells us that, you know, overlapping geometry was detected. So this is going to end up being able to be flattened, but with problems. This isn't real. This isn't going to be uh, something that you can actually bend in the real world. So let's go ahead and make one last change to this one. Let's go back to the sweep feature, edit definition, and let's go into the sketch. And for the sketch, I'm just going to use squiggle trim in order to get rid of some of the different entities in here. And yes, I want to continue out of there. And oops, got a little entity something over here. Let me just probably like a point or something in there. So let me delete. Yeah, I'm just getting all these little points left over. Okay, there we go. And let's use the right mouse button in order to get out of the sketch. Yes, I have some weak dimensions, but I just want to show you some stuff in here. So this is good. Let's hit the check mark. That warning I got in the sketch mode was basically telling me that I was going to get a regeneration failure. Let's right mouse click and hold and I am going to edit the definition of the feature. There are a couple edges that went away, so let me remove that one and remove that one and hit the check mark. And so now the edge rip is fixed, but this is something that can be developed. It can be flattened and bent into a sheet metal part. So again, you can use the sweep feature, just make sure that you are creating geometry that can actually be turned into a sheet metal part.